Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Catherine Grayson. Catherine Grayson was an American actress and coloratura soprano. From the age of 12, Grayson trained as an opera singer. She was under contract to Metro Goldwyn Mayer. By the early 1940s, soon establishing a career principally through her work in musicals. After several supporting roles, she was a lead performer in such films as Thousands Cheer, Anchors Away with Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly, and Show Boat and Kiss Me Kate, both with Howard Keel. When film musical production declined, she worked in theatre, appearing in Camelot. Later in the decade she performed in several operas, including La Boheme, Madame of Butterfly, Orpheus in the Underworld and La Traviata. Early Life She was born Zelma Catherine Elizabeth Hedrick in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The daughter of Charles E. Hedrick and Lillian Grace and Hedrick. Charles was a building contractor realtor. Lillian was of Russian-Mongolian, Native American and English descent, and Charles was of German, Russian, Mongolian and Sicilian descent. The Hedrick family later moved to St. Louis, Missouri, where she was discovered singing on the empty stage of the St. Louis Municipal Opera House by a janitor, who introduced her to Francis Marshall of the Chicago Civic Opera, who gave the 12-year-old girl voice lessons. Grayson's sister Frances Rayburn was also an actress and singer, appearing alongside her in the film Seven Sweethearts. She also had two brothers, Clarence, Bud, E. Hedrick, and Harold. 1940s In 1940, an MGM talent scout saw Grayson performing at a music festival. Metro hoped to find a replacement for Diana Durbin, who left the studio for Universal Pictures. For the next 18 months, Grayson went through voice lessons, drama coaching, diction, diets, and exercise. Within a year, Grayson had her first screen test. However, the studio executives were not satisfied, and she went through a further six months of lessons until she made her first film appearance in 1941 S. Andy Hardy's private secretary is the character's secretary Catherine Land. In the film, she takes part in three musical numbers. Two further films were planned for Grayson in 1941. White House Girl, which was later made in 1948 with Durbin, and Very Warm for May. From the Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein musical of the same name. Anne Sothern was also slated to appear, however, this fell through as well. The film eventually was made in 1944 as Broadway Rhythm. She appeared in three films in 1942, The Vanishing Virginian, Rio Rita and Seven Sweethearts. In the first, Grayson plays the teenage daughter, Rebecca, of the eccentric Yancey family. From Lynchburg, Virginia, set in 1913, the film was based on Rebecca Yancey Williams' own family. Grayson co-starred in Rio Rita with Abbott and Costello. Grayson portrayed the title character, Rita Winslow. The film was originally meant to be an adaptation of the 1927 Broadway musical. However, only two songs were retained for the film, the title song, and, the Ranger song, which was performed by Grayson, co-starring Van Heflin. Seven Sweethearts cast Grayson as the youngest of seven daughters from Holland, Michigan, who is hired by reporter-photographer Heflin to serve as a model and secretary while he covers the town's tulip festival, and with whom he falls in love. In 1943, Grayson appeared in the film Thousands Cheer, along with Gene Kelly, Mickey Rooney, Eleanor Powell, June Allison and others. The film was intended as a morale buster for American troops and their families. Grayson starred as the singing daughter of an army commander, 
It was announced in 1942 that Grayson would appear in an American symphony with Judy Garland. Garland was replaced by June Allison, and the film was retitled as Two Sisters from Boston and released in 1946. Grayson did not appear in any films for nearly two years, but instead worked at entertaining troops during the war and performing on radio programs. Notably, it is reported that she would only perform under the condition that the audience was integrated. As troops were segregated at the time, she returned to films in Anchors Away, a musical romantic comedy set in Los Angeles and co-starring Kelly and Frank Sinatra. Anchors Away was the fifth highest grossing film of 1945, earning over $4,779 million. This was followed by two sisters from Boston and guest appearances in Ziegfeld Follies. Until the Clouds Roll By, Grayson's performance in Till the Clouds Roll By included Make Believe in a capsule version of the musical Showboat, which would be remade five years later, with Grayson in the starring role. MGM repaired Grayson and Sinatra for two movies in 1947 and 1948, It Happened in Brooklyn and The Kissing Bandit. Both films performed poorly at the box office, and audiences thought the plots absurd. After the setbacks of Brooklyn and Bandit, Grayson was partnered with tenor Mario Lanza in That Midnight Kiss in 1949. 1950s in 1950, Grayson was once again partnered with Lanza, and portrayed an opera singer in The Toast of New Orleans, and performed the Academy Award-nominated song, Be My Love. While shooting the Madama butterfly scene in the film, Lanza kept attempting to French kiss Grayson, which Grayson claimed was made even worse by the fact that Lanza would constantly eat garlic before shooting. Grayson went to costume designer Helen Rose and she sewed pieces of brass into Grayson's gloves. Anytime Lanza attempted to French kiss her after that, she hit him with the brass-filled glove. For the premiere of the film, Grayson traveled to New Orleans and was a guest at an auction selling the film's costumes. Grayson replaced June Allison as the role of Ina Massine in 1951's Grounds for Marriage. She portrayed an opera singer with laryngitis, alongside Van Johnson, who played her doctor and love interest. This was also her first non-singing role at MGM. Grayson's musical performances do appear in the film, but in the form of recordings. Grayson was next cast as Magnolia Hawks in the 1951 remake of the 1927 Hammerstein and Kern musical, Showboat, alongside Howard Keel and Judy Garland. However, Garland dropped out of production, and the role went to Ava Gardner. Showboat was the third highest grossing film of 1951, earning over $5,533 million. Grayson teamed again with Keel in the 1952 Technicolor musical Lovely to Look At, a remake of the 1935 Astaire and Rogers film Roberta. She was released to the Warner Brothers studio in January 1953, with the stipulation that she return to MGM. For one more film, she returned to co-star for a third time with Howard Keel in her most acclaimed role as Lily Vanessi, Katharina in Kiss Me Kate. Released in November 1953, the film was lavishly produced to be filmed in 3D, with songs by Cole Porter, choreography by Hermes Pan, and musical direction by Andre Previn. Grayson's double role allowed her to display many moods, from feisty to gentle to humorous to forgiving. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below.
please like and subscribe below.